It's at sunrise when what's left of the Rwenzori glaciers is most visible. Wambale Peter started working here as a porter for tourists in 1960. The first time I climbed the mountains, this whole area was covered in glacier and fresh snow. We would have to use crampons here and we would walk from here to the summit without seeing a single rock. The Rwenzori glaciers and mountains are in a nature reserve in Uganda. The slopes are home to many species of plants and animals that are found only here. So guys, we are now ready. We've spent a week walking up through the mountains to reach the glaciers so we can see what's left. This is the Stanley Glacier. It's the first glacier that we have to cross to be able to reach the Margarita summit. Over there on the rock is a mark of blue paint. That was made by the Uganda Wildlife Authority three years ago, showing the level of ice and snow. So you can see how much the glacier has melted since then. In a village down the mountain, we met a man who remembers the glaciers when they were even bigger. Zedekir Bayeni started guiding people up in 1949. Now he's 82 years old. He says he used to ski down them. Skiing was really a lot of fun. There was so much snow that skiing was very easy when the snow was fresh. We would ski from 6 a.m. to midday and see amazing views on all sides. The skiing ended decades ago. The people who come up here regularly say they're always shocked at how quickly the ice is receding. Scientists say the glaciers are no longer accumulating new ice and they'll be gone within 20 years. There will be a changing environment here in which it is no longer cold enough to sustain glacier systems that occur that. And that will change the ecology of these Afro, distinctive Afro-Alpine en environments. And they have, and they're, uh, uh, the flora and fauna that are associated with this ra rather rare environment in East Africa. And the experts say any deal at the UN Climate Change Conference in Morocco to reduce carbon emissions will be too late for the Rwenzori glaciers. As the global temperature steadily rises, what's left here is melting away.